Yo guys, welcome back. It's that time, right? So finally, finally, I've hit the below 80 kilogram mark and it feels good. I, I, I know it's just a psychological barrier and you shouldn't really put too much stock in a, in a number like this, but I haven't weighed this much since like 2017. And it feels very good, very, very good that this cut has been so, so freaking smooth it is hard to grasp actually, but this is also something where I think I've done everything correctly here over the past couple of months and even like the year, last year because I took an entire year basically away from the caloric deficit and I think that now it pays off. Now it truly pays off that yeah, everything is going so smoothly and so nicely and I couldn't be happy about that, so yeah. Just going out for a quick walk, just because I need to get steps in. Today is a rest day, so um, these are the days where I'm sometimes even a little bit more inactive. So I need to actually force myself out to get some steps in and get my activity levels up a bit. And also, by the way, the, the weather is just like absolutely incredible outside. The sun is shining. It is, what is it now today? The 16th of January. Didn't expect that it's like 13 degrees outside, but yeah, I mean, when a time like this comes, I better make sure to get my ass out to actually enjoy and take advantage of the day. And uh, yeah, let's let's take you for a spin, mate. <laughs> Just before I wanted to actually go outside, look at what arrived. This is something I've been waiting for for a very long time because I ordered, I ordered something and that is professional lighting so that I actually can record a couple of things with a little bit of better lighting. Didn't expect it to arrive here today, which is amazing that it actually got here. So I will now go out for a walk, come back, set everything up, and it's ringing again. Maybe it's another package. Yo guys, so I'm out for a walk and this time I'm walking a little bit of a different road which I'm normally not walking um, and as you can see it's very very bright. Oh, here in the background, there's nothing, there's nothing, right? Um, as you can see, it's much quieter, much more lovelier to then have a walk because then you can really shut off, especially when you're sitting at the desk the entire day. Um, you're doing several different bits and pieces. You're, you know, we are running River Stronger after all. And especially then when you are midst and prep to go out, take a break of what it is you're doing at the moment. It's always, always a beneficial thing. And also just getting some steps in. Normally, I like to listen to podcasts or to some audiobooks, but at the moment, I don't know, I always have periods where I like to listen to podcasts, where I like to listen to audiobooks, and then there are other periods where I simply don't enjoy that much. And then I just go out for a walk to clear my mind, to maybe just reflect on things, think, think of certain things, and then come back again a little bit more energetic, a little bit refreshed, and you're ready for the next bout for the day. As I told you, I could then be happier with how this cut is going at the moment. I'm 10.1 kilograms down so far in just the time span of like, what is it now, 10 weeks. And I, I am super, super happy. I don't feel the diet at all. At times, of course, yes, you're getting a little bit hungrier, you're getting a little bit moodier. The lethargy isn't really there, which is very, very cool. Um, but yeah, overall, I couldn't be happier with how the cut is actually going at the moment. This is exactly, exactly how I imagined it to be like. So I've put myself in a proper position. I've prepared myself for a successful cutting phase, or hopefully successful cutting phase, and hopefully successful conscious prep. 
it is most of the time in your control to make the prep as smooth as possible. You can set yourself up for a certain level of success. Sure, there will be unpredictable things that will just get in the way, but if you can control all the other variables, the likelihood of you succeeding is of course much more increased. Just think about that. You are preparing yourself for an exam. If you haven't learned at all, what are the odds or chances that you will pass that exam? Very, very low, right? But if you learned like on a daily basis, you prepared yourself for that exam, what are the chances and what's the likelihood then that you are actually passing the exams? There's still a chance that you won't make it, but the likelihood of you passing the exams is now much more increased than the other time. So just considering that, because I took my time, I did what I had to do on a daily basis, on a weekly basis during the off season to prepare myself for this cutting phase, for this competition season, I think, and without a doubt, I will make it to stage unless something truly impactful comes up where I simply have to, to cut it short. I don't know, due to certain life events or so. But other than that, the way it goes now, I can't see how I can't make it to stage, especially because I the time is on my side. And this is something that not many people have because they plan in too little time for the entire prep. Can you hear this? It's the sound of silence. Oh, it's so lovely when there aren't any kind of cars driving around. No one is shouting, no one is screaming. You don't hear any kind of music. You just hear a little bit of the, the planes in the air. Then the church bell is ringing. That is, that is how it's supposed to be. And I can't wait to actually move into our house because I would assume that it's even quieter in this area. As I already promised to you, what I'm going to do now is unpack this package with the light, with the Godox, it's called the Godox. So yeah, I ended up actually going for the Godox, but let me unpack it first, let me show it to you guys, and then let me set it up so that you actually can get a look at what it looks like. Let's go over here. Prime best thing in the world. So, at first, we need a knife. A knife! The old good old classic, everyone knows that. So, my friends, this is the unpacking of the Godox. This is a fucked up knife. This time, a scissor. So, take number two. Oh, I could have easily stabbed my hand right now. The unpacking of the Godox, part two. All right, we want to make it professional here. So let's just open this, let's just open that. I'm packing everything. Ah, lovely. Everything for nature, right? And here it is, SL series. The SL series video light. I'm very, very excited to test that actually because I heard good things. Sure, coming at that price, there are a couple of downsides in comparison to the aperture light. I only heard very, very good things of the aperture light. Thing is though, the aperture light comes at a price of around 800 or 900 quid. For someone like me who isn't really that much into doing videos, which is more like for you guys and also, yeah, I mean, it's fun, but spending that much money on, on lighting, 
if you're not truly a professional, I don't know, I don't know, but I am a moron. I want to set up the light right now, and I know that from back in the days, from my photography days, I had a tripod, like a really big one, full proper lighting, right? And I was so certain that I still had that one around, but it seems like that a couple of months ago, I sold it via eBay. And I'm such an idiot. I hate myself for doing stuff like that. But it is what it is, right? <laughs> I can't change it right now. And sometimes you, you're paying twice. So I now need to order a new one. Oh, fucking, I hate myself for this. I hate myself for this. You know that kind of stuff? Where you're so certain that you have something and then you actually sold it? Even though that now, once again, you, you realize that you need it? Oh, fucking hell. Hate it. But anyway. It is what it is. Ah, guys, finally it's here. So let's set everything up so that you can actually see my new lighting setup. And yeah, let's get to it, I would say. So this is what it looks like without the light. <clears throat> and I needed to turn actually down the brightness a little bit because when I turn on the light, it will be very, very bright. So let's turn on the lights. And this is with the light, um, looking so much better, looking a little bit more professional. I will play a little bit with the light and also then with the settings, um, probably with the aperture and all that kind of stuff right now. It's only set to like 15%. So I could even turn it up here with the remote. In the remote though, no batteries. What's going on, newer? Why didn't you actually deliver some batteries with that kind of stuff? So because I'm at home, because I don't really need the remote right now, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but let me just play around a little bit and then I actually show you a little bit around when it comes to that kind of stuff. So let me just turn it on. This is now the brightness of 40%. 40! 40, 40! It's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with the light so far. Um, probably absolutely enough for my intentions in the future as well. So especially when we are moving houses, this is absolutely enough for the lighting. Um, Fuck, I'm pumped. Fuck, I'm pumped to create some content now, especially with the light here and play a little bit around. Here in the apartment, of course, my, my things and the things I can do are quite limited just due to the space. Um, as you can see, as you can look around here, it's very, very cramped already. We, I mean, we have four people now in that apartment, which is basically made for one, maybe maximum two people. That's why we are quite limited. When we are moving into the house in the summertime, I will have so much to play with, I have so much space for myself. I will have an office there. Our one room is only my office, and this is where I can just play around, also set everything up, and you will be very surprised how professional everything is going to look like. And now you may be thinking, oh, that cocky little piece of shit, Pascal. What is he again talking about? But I promise you that it will look so, so, so good in the future. And you will just be like, that's, that's some professional shit right there. Professional. You know what I mean. Anyway, 
that's about it for this week's Warlock. Not that much to talk about the training aspect and the diet aspect of things because things are going very, very well. Uh, I can't really complain. Things are going extremely well. I I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I, I think I just prepared myself so well for this starting period. And for the first time, I think, ever since I've started lifting, I didn't take a diet throughout the entire 2019 and I think it now pays off like honestly and as so many other people I wish I would have known that right when I started but we all learn right we all make our own experiences and gain our knowledge through going through different phases and here we are now there's no value in actually looking back and regret the decisions that we've made in the past but actually move forward and I can only make the very best out of, of the giving situation and also that giving prep and this is what I'm doing right now I'm ticking freaking every single box every single day nothing gets in my way I set myself up so so well here over the past couple of weeks to very much be successful with this contest prep there won't be anything that is in my control that will keep me away from stage there will, if so then it's out of my control so that's about it for this week and thank you very much as always for tuning in guys and um, it's so massively appreciated that you are following along with me with us that journey making it to stage but also revise stronger in general so i guess i speak to you next week 